Okay, let's get this party started. Shouldn't take that long. Should not take a long that long at all. I'm back. Told you I was gonna come back. Uh, well, maybe. No guarantee. I'm alive. I'm alive. <laughs> Life is not promised to nobody. As I'm speaking to you, I could kill over. We 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 really take life for granted. We think there's a tomorrow. We think we got time to do everything we want in the world. That's not how it works. Your time can run out. Some of us, we're born, come into this, into this life just for a few seconds and die. Time, time is, 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 is a privilege. It's not, it's not a right. Your time can end at any, any time. We take it for granted. There's things that we can do today, and we say, well, I'll wait for, for tomorrow, but tomorrow never comes. And that is a, a very serious problem when it comes to the so-called Negro, the descendants of slaves born in America having dark skin with African or Aboriginal ancestry. We think we have all the time in the world, bro. All the time in the, in the world, sir. Time gonna shock y'all. You gonna find out that you don't have the time you think that you have. You don't, hey, what's up there, Christopher? You don't take things serious. As adults, as adults, we need to take things more serious, but you don't. We really do act like children. See, because when you're young, you think you have all the time in the world. And you don't think about death at all. There was an incident in a county in Georgia. Myself and my sister Noble was talking. And these three uh, young people between the ages, I think, of 12 and 16. These young men decided to rob this house. And it did not turn out too good for them. And the homeowner shot and killed all three. When the police got on the scene, one of the three was still alive and told the police officer, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. So there are those who make mockery of older people They make mockery of me all the time because of my age. But here you have three young people who will not see 17 years old, dead from gunshot wounds on the front of somebody's lawn because they tried to steal something. Many of you, 20, 30, 40 years old, many of you, if not by murder, many of you will not see my age because of disease, maybe because of murder, sickness. Time is not guaranteed to you. I heard Hassan Campbell making mockery, and you know, he has, I mean, I understood that they, they are going back and forth between Hassan Campbell and Sinetta. But Hassan Campbell kept calling him this old man, your old man. I'm 30 years old. As long as you live, Hassan, you're going to get older. Because at one time, you was 15 years old. You're not 15 years, years old no more. And the people that's 15 years, they will call you an old man. And you are an old man as far as they're concerned. And the little children running around. Look at that old man. They started calling me old man when I was in my 20s. <laughs> Not because I look old. But they start calling me an old person. I was still in my 20s. 25. Because you come up in a culture. Where younger people. Don't have respect. 
for the elderly, for older folks. You owe this, yo. And many of them will never, maybe that's the reason why they do that. Because in their heart, they feel as though they ain't gonna make it anyway. So let me make mockery of somebody who made it. Because they themselves not going to make it. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of what I call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the Mighty One, Angel Snub Number 7. I am also your old soul brother, number one. I'm making a, a video response to Brother Robert Perkins, Team Rob, Robert Perkins video where he was speaking about our grandparents have failed us. And Robert Perkins is one of those people who run around, they are so pro-blackity black, 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 you know, black, black. But he's not black enough to marry a black woman. He's not black enough, you know that you're not interested in a black woman but you still get her pregnant. And then you turn around to about, we have broken and divided families. Oh, I guess you would know because you're part of the problem, sir. And now you want to talk about our grandparents. They have failed you. They have failed us. But then the pro-blackity-black type folks turn right around and talk about the ancestors. Oh, the ancestors. Like, here are some people you never knew. You don't know nothing about these ancestors you're talking about. 5,000, 3,000 years ago or whatever. You don't know nothing about these people. You don't know their language. You don't know how they dress. You don't know a damn thing about them. But then, your next door neighbor who you see every day, and he has a little gray in his head, oh, that Negro failed us. That Negro failed me. I want to remind the blackity black conscious community, all y'all fake hoteps and whatever, comedics and Hebrew Israelites and black first RBG nation, whatever the garbage that y'all call yourself, when you're talking about the ancestors, but you say that our elders failed us. You know, you, you, you're, uh, you're young. And usually what comes with youth is stupidity. I will verify that. Because I know I was very, very, the younger I was, the more stupid I was. I became smarter as I grew older. But when you're young, you think you're going to live forever when you're young. You do stupid things because you just don't know. You're ignorant. And whenever we come out and want to make mockery of our elders, then we look stupid. I'm not saying we cannot critique our elders. That's not what I'm saying. Because our people have only done the best they could do with what they had. So when you say our grandparents have failed us, but at the same time, you want to praise the ancestors. I'm going to say that again. The ancestors are grandparents and cousins and uncles and mothers and fathers. Man, y'all silly. Some silly people. That's because you young and stupid. Very rare that I meet young people who ain't stupid. Because you, you just don't know. You're ignorant. You don't have no kind of experience and in this society, we are not taught how to think. We're not taught how to use our brain. 
we are reactionary and emotional. So you upset, you can't get nothing going. You're not gonna you're not going to challenge the races. So who can I blame? Let me blame women. That's number one. Let's blame the black woman. Who we gonna blame? Blame the children. Stupid teenagers. Let's blame the children. Who we gonna blame? Uh, let's blame the elderly. But you, and I'm talking to the men, because I didn't mention the men, and many of them blame the men, and you should, and you should, because these men say they are the protectors, they are the heads of the household, they are the leaders. Well, do it then. You want, you want the uh, title? You want the accolades? You want the benefits? Well, do it. Provide and lead and protect. Robert Perkins failed in all those categories. I, I fail in all of those categories. So who are you to judge? Anybody. Until you get yourself together. They can talk about what some what somebody did or did not do. The grandparents are ancestors. And some of them have joined the ancestors. Some of them are still alive right now. You have more respect for those who you don't even know who are dead than your living elders, your living ancestors right now. How the hell can you talk about the ancestors and praise the ones who are dead and you see your elders, you see living ancestors right now your next door neighbor on the subway train walking down the street and you don't even say hi to them. You don't do nothing for them. Y'all, these, these people are so damn fake. When was the last time you went to a nursing home? Your living ancestors in these nursing homes. You don't think about them at all. But you can think about somebody you don't know, your ancestors that lived 5,000 years ago. Y'all so full of malarkey, full of baloney, you stank. Y'all stank. Y'all some full of stank. That's what y'all are. But that's, that's how it is when you're young. You're young and stupid. You want to learn a little something, something? Because I was young and stupid. And you can also can be old and stupid. I would hope not to be that. I would hope because of my life experience, I learned something. It's a damn shame to be 50 some years old and haven't learned a damn thing in your whole life. And those type of people do exist. Yes, they do. I'm not gonna sit back here and tell you they don't. But even when you're old and stupid, you still, you still, have some knowledge because of just because you have lived life and that old and stupid believe me is much different than being young and stupid what's up there Syrian Syrian says I envy the dead oh come on on this phone I can't hardly see the chat I envy the dead, but never living people who have to carry on living. That's right. I concur. So, the grandparents have failed us. That's true. That's true. But guess what? Their grandparents failed them too. Guess what? Their grandparents failed them too. Guess what? And it goes on and on. There was generations. Listen. There was generations of grandparents failing their children. Maybe because of over 300 years of slavery. <laughs> oh, did you take that out of the equation? Over 300 years of slavery. 
Maybe that's the reason why they, they, they fail. Then you had 100 years of Jim Crow and the black codes. So you're looking at 400 years. Uh, is that a, a legitimate reason why they maybe, maybe they fail? Is a legitimate reason why grandmother and grandfather fail is because they never had nothing to begin with? They did not have education. They didn't have any money. They were terrorized in the country they was a citizen of. Maybe that's the reason why grandmother, oh, maybe grandfather, maybe he's a failure because he was put up on a cross and burned to death with a rope around his neck. Maybe that's the reason why he failed. Maybe grandmama failed because she was in the room getting raped by some white man and her husband, they made him watch why they raped his wife right in front of his eyes. Maybe, maybe because of terrorism. Maybe because of fear. You don't take those things into consideration. Maybe they, maybe, maybe they didn't have the right to vote. And they didn't. Maybe when they walked down the street, they had to look at the ground because you don't look a white man in his eyes. That's the kind of environment our grandparents, our ancestors had to deal with day in and day out. Just like that sister Yvette Carnell said, she was talking about the great migration. There was no great migration. These people were scared because the races in the South was killing them, terrorizing them. So to get away from death, to try to make it a little easier, they migrated to the north and to the west or wherever the hell they could get, they know they had to get out of the south. Maybe that's the reason why, Rob, Brother Robert, maybe that's a, that's a legitimate reason why your grandparents failed. Maybe, maybe, sir, our people was denied reading and writing even religion for hundreds of years. See, we talk ignorant and stupid, but at the same time, we claim we know all this history and got all this scholarship, but then we want to blame something. All oh, that goes out the window. Maybe that's the reason why. Maybe I was fighting for my civil rights, and when me and my family was trying to have a dinner, somebody, somebody shot through our window. As an example, Dr. King. Dr. King and his family, ain't that Alliston? Dr. King and his family just trying to have a, a, a Sunday dinner and somebody shoot, shotgun blast through his, through his dining room window. Maybe that's the reason why they failed. Maybe fear Maybe lack of opportunity, living in a society that deny you opportunity, discriminate against you. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why, Brother Robert. And my friend Syrian is very much correct. When you are in an abusive situation and you're frustrated and you're not going to do nothing against the abuser, then that group starts to turn on themselves. So let's blame our elders. You didn't walk in their shoes. Matter of fact, your shoes, regardless of the little things that they done for us, your walk is much easier. So now you have a lot of money, millionaires, drive fancy cars, you got high priced cell phones. I mean, y'all doing the do. What the hell you complaining about? You do not worry when you go home, you do not worry about somebody because of your, your, the color of your skin and because you want the right to vote. 
You don't worry about somebody shooting up your house, setting your church on fire. This is the type of an environment that our ancestors lived. You don't take that into consideration. You have more education, more money, more opportunity, more everything. And you're a failure. There's no rope around your neck. You run around here, hotel, black power, and all this other stuff, praise Jesus, all this stuff that y'all do day in and day out with more opportunity than your ancestors and your grandparents ever had in generations and you a failure they didn't do this for us look what you got Negro look what you got look at your shoes I remember when I was growing up my grandparents was putting cardboard boxes I mean cardboard pieces of cardboard in the bottom of their shoes had to walk to school for miles to go to school in the damn snow. There was no bus. They had to walk. Talk to your people. That's a lie. Talk to them. See what they had to go through. And here you are crying. Oh, the, my, I, your grandparents failed you. What the hell you expect them to do? What the hell you expect them to do? We just come out of 300 years of slavery. 100 years of Jim Crow, the black code. What the hell you expect Dr. King to do? Malcolm to do? Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, and the list goes on. What the hell you expecting from these people that just came out of slavery? But here you are. You ain't never been a slave. You never experienced none of these things. And you a big fat zero. You a failure. The only thing you could do is put up a black power fist. That means nothing. That means nothing. Your black power fist means nothing. Because you don't give it any power. And in some countries, they'll cut your damn hand off. So you... So your black power fists are turning into a damn stub if they don't kill you. So God bless America, give you the, the, the uh, opportunity to speak your mind. Because in some countries, they'll chop your head off. How dare you, any of us, have the nerve to talk about what they done. Now... You can turn around and use that on me. Well, you just made a video about Minister Farrakhan. And you call him a loser. He's an ancestor. <laughs> what you want me to say? I respect Minister Farrakhan. I never said our ancestors was beyond critique. Minister Farrakhan does not know. He's a believer. He does not know. I don't know if, if Farrakhan is an agent or a spy or he just believe what he's talking about. Just like our ancestors in the past. They done the best that they could. Clearly, Religion is not going to do it for us. Talking about what God going to do is not going to, it's not, it has not done nothing for us. So you're wasting your time. You're wasting your energy. You keep doing the same thing over and over again that don't work. And you got a smile on your face. So, I'm going to say this in my conclusion. 
Minister Farrakhan is old. I'm old. All the old folks in the elderly, blame your grandparents. Okay. I'm a loser. Farrakhan is a loser. We all losers. We don't know what the hell we done, what we doing, and blah, blah. Now, this is your problem, Robert Perkins. This is your problem, young people. If you live to be old, what are you going to do different than Firecon? What you gonna do different than Angel Snub Nub Seven? What are you gonna do different than those who came before you? Since you can run your damn mouth, since you know so much, since you, since you can talk about how somebody else failed, what you gonna do different? Because that five-year-old and that seven-year-old and that ten-year-old they going to be sitting in the same position 20 years from now where you sitting in right now. And they're going to look at you and they're going to tell you in your face, you failed. The grandparents failed. Talking about you. What you going to do different? You do not get younger. You get older. So, Mr. Robert Perkins, what are you going to do? What are you going to do different? Except make a YouTube video. That the races give you the opportunity to do. Run your mouth. Because you don't have the power to create your own forum. And then the brothers and sisters who have sites, you don't even support them. All that black power garbage. The black power fist. Ask Minister Farrakhan, ask Robert Perkins, ask all these old pro-black, blackly black, are there videos on blackavenger.com? Are they on blackjunction.com? No, because, because they don't pay them no money. See, YouTube, YouTube pays money. And really, that's what it's all about. I can run my mouth. Somebody might get interested, and now I can make some money. When I first came to YouTube, it was about people just wanting to express themselves. There was no money involved. But now, y'all sold out. It's about how many views, how many likes. Donate, how much money you, you can get. And you are really entertaining because that's what the people want. The people are not serious about their own liberation. The people are not serious about nothing, including Robert Perkins. Putting your fist up talking about black power, that don't mean nothing. I saw that stuff in real time every day almost. So what? And what did it get us? Nothing. Black power and you have no power. So what? Big deal. So this is the question. You don't give a damn about when I present the Mississippi campaign. Oh, that's a pipe dream. That's a scam. Angel Snub Nub 7 is retarded. Angel Snub Nub 7 is a stupid old ass man. Okay. So what you going to do? What you going to do? Not a damn thing. You don't have a Mississippi campaign. You don't have nothing. You don't have nothing at all. Matter of fact, the reason why you make mockery of the Mississippi campaign is because you wish it came from you. So you would have something. But you have absolutely nothing. And you keep talking about dead people. Well, you know Malcolm X and John Henry Clark and Dr. Ben and Elijah Muhammad. And you keep talking about these dead folks over and over again. Let's go see the Harriet movie. Harriet Tubman is not alive. She's been dead a long time ago. May she rest in peace. You don't give a damn about the living. 
The only thing y'all think about is dead folks. And you know why? You know why you love dead people? Because you can make Harriet Tubman, you can, you can make Marcus Garvey and Elijah Muhammad and all our dead brothers and sisters. You can make them and paint them, make them be whatever you want them to be. And there's nothing they can say. They can't disagree. They can't tell you you were wrong or nothing. You can make them whatever you want them to be. But somebody that is alive, like when they come to my channel and bring me their wisdom and their scholarship. And I debunk it and I smash it and I tear it up. You don't like that. So the hell with the living. I concentrate on dead people, but only a living person, only a living brain can give you the solution for your living problem. And your problem definitely, definitely is alive. And like Elijah Muhammad said, <laughs> you can take it or let it alone. So what you gonna do? Since your grandparents, since the, the old people failed you, your elders failed you, what are you gonna do? Because in the next 20 years, if you're 30 right now, 20 years, you're going to be 50-something. What, 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 what will you accomplish in the next 20 years? What will you accomplish in the next 20 years? I'm just going to sit back in the cut and watch. I hope that you're successful. I surely do. But hell, you don't even know what to do. Except the same stuff. Marcus Garvey did, the Black Panthers done, same old stuff, voting, marching, protest, same old stuff, same thing over and over again. Here you are, young and alive, you have no creativity, you have no vision, you don't know what to do, but you're going to criticize those who did a little something and they done it. And that's the reason why you are living the good life that you're living right now. Still a slave, but you got a lot of money. You got education. You got pretty clothes. Oh, man, y'all living it good. What are you going to do? Brother Robert, what are you going to do? You got, you got a lot of people listening to your channel. Hundreds of subscribers, what y'all gonna do? Not a damn thing. Nothing. Except keep keep praising the, the dead like you've been doing for the last going on 100 years. Keep praising dead folks. Dead people cannot help you. And you don't and you don't want to deal with the living because the living might be too smart for you. So on that note, you do what you you do what you want to do. I'm not mad at you. I'm like Tupac. I'm not mad at you. I'm gonna sit back in the cut, and like I said, I hope that y'all successful. Coming on my platform, calling me names, trying to make mockery, that don't mean nothing to me. Don't bother me in the least. People have been calling me names. Making mockery of me ever since I was born. Even from my family. It started, matter of fact, it started with my family. How black I was. Ooh, you show black. You black and ugly too. Starting with your family. So your name calling, making mockery, don't mean nothing to me. Been there, done that, heard it. So what? Where will you be? 20 years from now with your smart ass. You so smart and you know every damn thing. Let's see what you gonna do different. Oh man. That mass grave is calling you. And maybe that's and that's probably the best thing for you. Give you a way out. It'll give you a way out. That would be mercy on your soul. 
is to put a bullet in the back of your brain. That would be mercy. Let you live and you look stupid. 20 years from now, you ain't accomplished a damn thing. Running your mouth talking about what the grandparents did or didn't do. And here you are, couldn't, couldn't even, couldn't even repeat what they done. Blame, blame the women, blame the children, blame the dog, blame the elderly. You should be shaming yourself. Then you talk about, I'm a man. I provide. I'm a leader. Well, lead then, Robert Perkins. Lead. Go. Where you going? Don't even know where you're going. How you gonna get there? Don't know how. But you won't listen when a voice stand up. When the voice stand up and suggest and advise you, this is how you need to go. It's logical. It makes sense. It's reasonable. And you laugh. <laughs> you got a lot of trust. You got a lot of trust. You got a lot of trust in your enemy. Laying up here, you laying in the house with your enemy. You really trust, you have a lot of trust in them. You falling, you falling in love with your car and your degree and your house and all this stuff that you get being a slave. And that's all you are, a slave. And you know it. What are you going to do different? Huh. You're not going to do nothing different. Nothing. Except run your damn mouth. Try to make mockery of Angel Snub Nub 7. Make mockery, and you don't have no ideas, no creativity, no vision. You don't even know what to do. Nothing. We will see. We will see where y'all at 20 years from now. If, if you make it, there's no guarantee you're going to see 20 years. So, on that note, we out of here, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. I sure do. I hope that, like I said, I really do hope that you're successful. I don't, I, uh, but honestly, I don't see it because. You're not doing nothing right now. What was you doing? You in your 30s now. What was you doing in your 20s? What was you doing in your teens? So all that time, since you know all this, all that time has already passed. And you ain't did a damn thing. I was out here trying to do stuff growing up in Jim Crow. By myself as a little boy, eight, nine years old. What were you doing at eight, nine years old? You damn sure, I'm very sure you weren't part of no struggle. I have never claimed to be the first person, myself and Brother Talib, claim to be the first person to talk about taking control of a state. I told you, see, y'all don't listen. You're in your own world. You don't listen. Said it over and over again. I said our people was doing this anyway. We want to do what they couldn't do.
That's what I said. Our people have, was doing it. And the only reason why they couldn't do it was because of the terrorism of the South. That's what I said. Why don't y'all learn how to listen? But you're so caught up in your in in the in in, in your thoughts. You wanna you wanna shoot somebody down so bad. You wanna show that somebody is wrong so bad. Give nobody credit for a damn thing. Well, do it your way. Do you? You've been doing you for the for going on over a hundred years. What you got? You don't have a pot to piss in. Do you? 20, 20 years from now, you're going to be saying the same damn thing. I guarantee it. No creativity, no vision. You can't think what the damn. You can't even listen. You hear what you want to hear. Learn how to listen. It's a wonderful thing. This is the reason why they have a hard time dealing with me because I listen to what you say, I, I hear what you say, and I study what you say, I analyze what you say. So when I respond to you, I know what the hell I'm talking about. How many times, even on the promotional video, it says very clearly, our people was doing this anyway. And you're going to come to me talking about, you're not the first person to come. I never said that. Listen. And you wonder why y'all failures and losers. You high and mighty and don't have a pot to piss in. Learn how to listen. So, uh, on that note, let me get out of here, because uh, I, I already, <laughs> I'm just glad, I'm glad I am an older person, because y'all getting ready to get y'all ass whooped, you ain't never seen nothing, you playing games, you think this is, this, you think that this is some kind of game, you're not taking nothing serious, which, with your young ass. And some of these people are not that young, running around here to calling people old, they're not that young themselves. But that's all right. I hope you live. I hope God bless you with good health. So this ass whooping you're going to get, you're going to feel every drop of it. I hope to be dead in the ground or in a nursing home sucking on some oxygen or something. You're going to get yours. Hey, brother to live so uh on that note i'm out of here gotta go and uh i catch y'all on the flip flop thanks everybody for joining me and uh facebook i want to thank google i want to thank youtube because they really they really messed those trolls up because those trolls are flagging the hell out of my channels and google Put those videos right back up. Don't y'all feel stupid? Hey, trolls, because you know they're always watching. Hey, trolls, don't you feel stupid? You did all that work, and Google put all that stuff right back. <laughs> don't you feel stupid? It's frustrating, ain't it? Dumbasses. But we'll see all y'all smart people where you're going to be 20 years from now. I don't want to be around, personally, because I already know. Looking at you right now and your mindset and how you're doing things, I already see. I already know where you're going to end up. So on that note, I'm out of here. I'm already 5,000. Until next time, y'all, I wish us love, peace, and soul. You have 2 hours and 19 minutes of remaining drive time.